Hey YouTube, how's it going today? Today we are gonna learn which two types of insulation are best for building your own acoustic panels. If you've ever wondered, should I use this type? Should I use that type? I have no idea. There's so many videos out there telling me to use different things. I'm gonna to get to the bottom of it today and show you some of the science behind why certain insulations are better than others and my two favorite ones. Uh, and so if you're interested in learning more about that, definitely stick around. Before you do that, there's also a video below these notes that teaches you exactly how I built my own acoustic panels. So if you're interested in doing a full-fledged tutorial on how to do that, check that out. There's also a free soundproofing course in the notes below. All right, so let's take a deep dive into which acoustic panel is best. All right, here we go. So my two favorite types of insulation for building acoustic panels are Owens Corning 703 and Knopf insulation with earth wool with an Ecos technology. That's kind of a, a mouthful right there, but I'll talk more about the differences between these two and which one I prefer. So to start with the Ecos technology, the earth wool Knopf insulation one is green certified, meaning it meets the highest levels of standards for having low impact on the environment, low carbon emissions from the way they build it, and also doesn't emit a lot of um, pollution and pollutants into your room. So it's good for your indoor air quality. So th that right there makes it pretty awesome to begin with. And in a second here, we'll talk more about the absorptive qualities between the 703 and the NOF acoustic panels. So to start with, let's take a look at this graph right here. So this graph shows the absorptive coefficients between the Corning 703 on the left over here and the NOF acoustic panel on the right over here, or NOF acoustic insulation, sorry, on the right. So the absorptive coefficient is a number from zero to one that measures the amount a material can absorb sound versus reflecting it. So now when you look at this chart, you'll see that some of the coefficients are a little bit lower in the 0.95 range, and some are actually above one. So the number one means that this material can absorb 100% of the sound. And, you know, as you go down to like a 0.2 or something like that, it's going to be very reflective, like a wood floor or a metal beam or something like that. So you might be wondering, well, how is it possible that some of these numbers are above one, like 1.14 or 1.15? The reason is that when they're measuring this insulation, because it has sides and edges and it's a three-dimensional product, it doesn't factor into just a two-dimensional surface area, which is what the traditional ratio factors in. So you're going to get this higher level of efficiency due to the sides, but that's just a technicality. Don't let it trip you up too much. So let's take a look at these two different types of insulation and actually get down to the science of which one is truly better at absorbing sound. So if we look at the NOF insulation in the lower range in that 125 hertz, this is probably where you're going to have some of some of the low male human voice, some uh, kick drum, bass, bass uh, notes and things like that in your 125 hertz range. You'll notice that the NOF is a 0.95 and the Corning is a little bit worse. So let's start with the Knopf insulation. If we look down at the 125 Hertz range, we notice that it has a absorption coefficient of 0.95, which is actually better than the Corning 703. But then when we go into the 250 to 1000 Hertz range, we notice that the Corning is actually better with higher absorption coefficients at 1.19, 1.2, and 1.13 versus the NOF acoustic absorptive coefficient of 1.11, 1.17, and 1.07. Now, if we look at the 2000 to 4000 hertz range, this is where a lot of the human voice, um, some sibilances, a lot of your guitars, some of those higher frequencies, uh, those are going to be in the 2000 to 4000 hertz range and we'll notice that the NOF is actually better in that range so it absorbs 1.07 and 1.06 versus the Corning 703 which absorbs 1.04 and 0.94 in that 4000 hertz range. So next we look over at the NRC which stands for noise reduction coefficient. 
And the noise reduction coefficient is the average rating of how much sound an acoustic panel can absorb. So overall, we can see that the Corning 703 has a higher absorption coefficient, meaning technically, on average, it is better at absorbing sound than the NOF Ecos Acoustic Technology insulation. So the Corning 703 has an NRC of 1.15 versus the 1.10 uh, coefficient of the NOF insulation. So if you're going based on just the science there and you want this overall average, you might go with the Corning 703 because it does have a better overall NRC than the NOF insulation. But as we saw before, certain frequencies were different, so it's really hard to compare the NRC versus the actual individual frequency um, bands that they were measuring, such as the 4000 hertz range or the 125 hertz range. So you might make a decision saying, hey, you know, I just want something that absorbs better at this higher range because I do a lot of vocals or something like that. That might be a reason you might want to absorb the lower range a little bit more because you do a ton of drum tracking or bass recording. So these are things that might factor in. But overall, I would say that I would go with the NOF insulation because I think that the ECOS friendly part of it the eco-friendly, the environmental impact of the company is more in line with my values. And I like the idea that it doesn't emit a lot of indoor air quality uh, pollutants into the air. That may not bother you, in which case you might go with the Owens Corning 703. But I would honestly say that they're very, very close overall and that you probably won't notice much of a difference at all with your acoustic panels. So I hope this video was super helpful with learning a little bit more about insulation products and which insulation products are best for your own acoustic panels inside your home studio. Again, if you want to learn more, definitely check out my free soundproofing course below. Check out that video link to how to make your own acoustic panels and definitely leave some comments below. Give, ask me questions if you want to learn more about soundproofing or how to build your home studio in any form or fashion, please uh, leave a comment below. I always love answering them. And I will see you every week here on this channel. So make sure to subscribe and like, and I will see you all next week.